Hi guys, so I apologize if I'm not quite in frame right now. What happened is my sister took my tripod for the night because she has a school project that she has to film and so I don't have one and as it turns out there's like nothing in this room that is like the correct height that I can put the camera on and so I have it on my chair right now but it's at like this weird height where I can easily like go out of the frame. I think I'm in it though I think pretty well so hopefully this works but I'm sorry if like I go out of frame or something. But anyway this is going to be a review of The Witches by Stacey Schiff which is about the Salem witch trials and this is a book that I won from Goodreads First Reads. It came out, this is an ARC and it came out in October 2015 so I assume I won it around then as well it was sometime in the fall of last year. I really wanted to do this as a video because I realized that my last like book review video was like a month ago and I feel like I hardly do them as a video anymore and I don't know why that is. So I'm going to so I'm going to for this one. But like I said, this is about the Salem Witch Trials. Um, I really like this cover, but at the same time it freaks me out because like I really really like it and I've, and everything but like I would have the book be sitting by my desk and their stares kind of freak me out because they're like so intense but I like it, I think it fits so I just had to comment on that because I kept thinking about the cover when it was sitting beside me. But this is a non-fiction book. It's fairly thick actually um, and the author has another book that won the Pulitzer Prize so that's pretty cool. And I think this is the most comprehensive look at the Salem Witch Trials that I've ever read. Um, we were supposed to read The Crucible in high school but we didn't because I think we ran out of time or something so instead we just watched the movie. So I have seen the Crucible movie and I think most of the rest of my information about the trials comes from like things here or there that I've like pieced together. Um, but obviously I'm aware that the Crucible is fiction and took like real names but nothing about it is at all likely to have been what happened. I mean some things I guess but not really. So I was very interested to read this. Obviously I love fiction and like fantasy books. I love fantasy and reading about like fictional witches and things like that and it's always been interesting to me like um, witch trials and things like that in the past. It's just like it's interesting to me first of all because you have the combination of like supernatural beliefs in magic. I had my senior defense last semester for English and I wrote about the fairies in the Midsummer Night's Dream and part of my paper was analyzing common beliefs about fairies in Shakespeare's time and talking about whether or not the people who went to go see Shakespeare's play would think that um, fairies were real or would know that fairies weren't real. That was part of my paper and I brought in witches into that too and talked about the, like the belief of witches at Shakespeare's time which was obviously before this book and this has like a very real belief in witches. So that's kind of a tangent. The point is I'm very interested in this book both because I've always been interested in how like our modern perception of witches um, can be traced like back to like older perceptions of witches and also just because there's still somewhat like a mystery of like what even happened that this entire town that like hundreds of people were witches and things like that and like I mentioned in my wrap up and TBR video when I talked about this book, I personally feel like it went back to like hysteria and things like that and the idea of hysteria at the time, which the author, I wasn't to this point in the book when I brought that up in my wrap up and TBR, but the author does in the final chapter of this book talk about hysteria and how um, 
there it, that could have been what was going on with some of the girls, whereas some of the girls it's more likely they were just straight up lying. Um, and I just find it really interesting how because obviously we have very little record of this time period because like the author kept saying over and over so few records from the trials are still still exist because everyone in the town was like so ashamed of them or just didn't want to think about them or whatever that like they either like destroyed it or there was none to begin with and things like that so we have very limited sources as to what happened and that combined with the fact that obviously the people who were writing about the time all believed in witches so they weren't looking for like a logical explanation beyond that so there's only so much we can figure out as to what happened and that's always been extremely interesting to me so yeah um i'm kind of just going on tangents now so i really liked this book i found it very interesting and a very like i liked the style it was written in it, it was kind of one of those things where it sometimes felt like you were reading a story especially like with the subject material but it's a very like there's a lot of information here a lot of stuff that i didn't know about before and things like that because like i said i didn't know like the intimate details of what happened and so I feel like I learned a lot and it was very interesting. The one thing, this isn't like a fault of the book, I'm just so terrible with names and there are so many people involved in this book and on top of that the Puritans had like such a small group of names that they used. So there are like 50 people with the same first name and like on top of that you have like all of these people named after their parents like even girls named after their mom so people with the exact same name i didn't get a bit confused as to who people were at times but like there's no way around that not like it wasn't the book's fault that's really my biggest complaint about this book i really liked it it's not gonna be for everyone especially because of how thick it is um i feel like you'd have to be interested in the Salem Witch Trials to be interested in the book but if you are and you want to read a book about it I would really recommend this one. Oh, and I almost forgot and I cannot forget to mention the author managed to make a Harry Potter reference which I greatly admired and definitely gave the book extra points because I loved that but I think that's all that I have to say so I will see you guys later. Bye!